Whoa, what's up, YouTube? How is everybody doing today? Haven't uploaded a video in a while since uh, winter time, I believe. And we are now in the midst of uh, spring here in Ohio, and I'm uh, here to make an update. I haven't made a video in a while because, believe it or not, I have been busy working on tractors. Believe, <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe because I usually I haven't touched these things in a while, but, but uh, lately I've been on a kick to get these things ready considering i'm pretty sure we're about to have a very very kick-ass show season because uh sir rona decided to ruin the last one but i figured today i wanted to make an update video and show you what we've done uh i can't really show you everything we've done because the tractors i've worked on are not here at this point uh the roper my ratty roper and the cub kid out are still at my dad's so those are fixed but I figure we'll start here with the Roper Hydro. It's 95% done. I have, so far, I have put on a brand new carburetor. I have a brand new ignition system on it. I converted it to take a, it's now got the electronic ignition coil versus a standard points co coil and condenser. So those are now gone. New carburetor, obviously. I did an electric fuel pump. And then I also did a little something here. So this way I didn't have to drill another hole in the dash. I just stuck an inline fuse in here. And now where the fuse usually is, is now my fuel pump switch. And as you can also see, my switch lights up red, which is pretty neat. So, and then I, I had to mount the fuel pump. There really was only good place, one good place to mount it. And that was down here on underneath the running board. Um, I am also leaking ATF, so I need to, I still need to go through it and figure that out. But it is running. <laughs> this thing is running mint. I'll do a quick startup for you. It's still cold-blooded like every other Briggs is, but hey, it is running. Oh yeah, I'm leaking a significant amount of ATF. So yeah, I'm actually leaking quite a bit of ATF. That's not good. So I'm going to have to put that drain pan right about here. That's where I'm going to put it. Yeah, it's leaking all over the place, so I gotta figure that out too, too. But the only thing now that I need to do to finish this up is well, obviously figure out why it's leaking ATF. I have to put an air filter on it, and then there's a little breather tube down here somewhere that I will be replacing. And I left the front end off just so that way I can go ahead and do that. And then I also am gonna do an oil change and do the filters and uh, the hydro and the filter and shit. So. Now, on to the next project, which was the Cub Cadet. I don't have any footage of that thing running, but that got a brand new carburetor for my safe tractors. Uh, a lot of my tractors actually have my safe tractors carburetors now that I think about it. Because this one has one, my other roper has one, the Cub has one, this has one. So my Cub has gotten a new carburetor from my safe tractors new points of condenser from my safe tractors and new fuel line so that thing is freaking ready to go just uh, needs an oil change and it'll be ready to go and then i will insert a clip of my ratty roper right here <laughs>
as you can see in that clip, it is running fucking mint. I finally, finally, finally was able to get it to uh, run very good. It ended up being, because it, so we'll, we'll go back here. It had, I, I, we initially, when my cousin owned it, my dad took a spare electronic ignition coil he had on an 11 horse Briggs, threw it on because the points were bad. So we threw that on and then we did a little bit of work to it. And long story short, it ended up being kind of a hack job and it ended up running like shit. So what I, what ended up happening is I traded my SS12 Hydrodrive or Hydrotrack for my Ratty Roper. I traded that because I personally just didn't have the time to go and find everything that that other Hydro needed. So that's what I did. I, I traded straight up the Hydro 12 for that Ratty Roper. It's a Roper RT13, if you were wondering. And I was trying to figure out why it wouldn't run right. It was just, it, it idled okay, but as soon as you started giving it throttle, it would just run like complete garbage. Um, if I still have a clip, I will try to insert it right about here. And if you guys see that clip, then you will know that the tractor was not running good. It was uh, popping and all that shit. I started off, I replaced some of the seals and the carburetor. That didn't fix it. It made it run better, but it didn't fix it. So I was like, oh, fuck it. Let me try a new carburetor for my safe tractors. Gave that a try. Didn't change a thing. So I'm like, shit. So that was at the end of the season. I had one little tractor show that I went to. It was a little backyard show. It was fun. I didn't, I'm not going to lie. I had this here. I had my uh, I had blue unit there. I had my other roper there and my big block 99. I had those four there. So, and then we just par I parked it in the trailer and I didn't touch it until just recently. I got it out. I had watched a couple videos on how to properly convert the cast iron Briggs from points of condenser to electronic ignition. I watched that. I bought two new coils because I was going to, after I watched it, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to convert this one too. So I did that. I put the brand new electronic ignition coil on it, and when you know it, it's running mint. So, that's the Ratty Roper for you. And now, on to the stuff that I still need to work on. This thing here, old blue unit. This thing, been a very good tractor for me for the past, so let's see, six years I think I've owned this one now? Holy crap. Yeah, it's been six years since I've had this one. I've had this one a long time. So... Six years with this, and it has just been absolutely one hell of a unit. Just absolute unit. But unfortunately now she's given me some trouble. I am having an issue where, where it's really cold out, it doesn't want to start. And then when it gets warm, it just shuts off. It doesn't sputter out. It doesn't smoke. It, it just shuts off as if someone turned the key off. So I'm thinking I might have to put a coil on it. And uh, unfortunately with the, these Tecumsehs, you can't really get factory Tecumseh coils. So I am just going to wire in a Kohler style coil and that'll take care of that problem, hopefully. I also wanted to do points of condenser, but I am having a hell of a time trying to find points of condenser for this. So that's what's going on with this. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. This still might get a Kohler. But we will see on that. So let's move forward here to the other Hydro. This one, I had it out running today, but it still needs a carburetor clean. I plan on doing that next weekend. I'll pull the carburetor off, send, uh, probably, probably take it to my buddy's shop and just have him put it through the ultrasonic tank maybe, depending on how bad it is. And then uh, from there, it should all, that should all be what this thing needs. I already changed oil in it. Last year, pretty much the day after I bought it, I did the trans fluid. Uh, I still need to change out the negative battery cable. I did the positive cable. I got to do the negative cable. So I got to do that. And that'll be it for this. And it just, it needs a bath. Uh, old 79 here. This thing, oh my God, this thing has been fucking dead nuts reliable for the past three years that I've had it. Don't mind my body armor sitting there. Those things are amazing, by the way. I highly recommend um, this thing has just been a fucking tank, a absolute tank. I have, I am in absolute love with this thing, but unfortunately, yeah, the belt is 
and it, it's not broken, but she is definitely cooked. So, got to get online there to the old Sears Tractor Manual website. I will get the I will look up the correct belt size, and we will get that fixed up within hopefully the next week or two. Because I plan on well when I get that carburetor off, I will also take the mower deck off. Hopefully next weekend and do uh, sharpen the blades, grease it. I don't think I'm gonna have to. The, the, I didn't use this very much last year. I used it a couple times, but I, I think I'll just leave it for now. I got to do plug wires on it, unfortunately. The plug wires are going out. Um, so, yeah, that'll that'll be coming up. It also needs a bath because you can see I actually mowed with it today, and it's all covered in grass. So, so yeah, that is the update. We are making lots of headway here. We've got the cub running. we got both the ropers running. Now the next thing I got to do is... Uh, I got to get old blue unit back there running, get the high, the 69 hydro running. I got to do a mower deck belt on this. Uh, my SS16, I forgot to mention that. I have a set of points of condenser for that. So I will be pulling that apart. But with the way that I have, with the way it's set up with that cooler carburetor, I have to pull a lot of it apart. So I will be resealing the intake manifold as well as putting the new points of condenser in it. And then my big block 99 also needs a carb clean. And I also want to get a set of points and condenser for that. So, we are making some headway here. We are definitely making some headway. I am very, very happy to actually have a video where we're making progress with stuff here. <laughs> you know, with the old, ro the old Roper Hydro, that thing has been sitting back there dead because I thought the coil went out on me. But it turns out that the fuel pump went out on me. But I was figured, you know what, that coil was going out anyway. It had a torn plug boot, so I was like, "Fuck it, we're gonna put a, we're gonna convert it to electronic ignition, and the thing runs mint now with that." The only thing I think I want to do is I want to turn the idle down a little bit. I Safe Tractors has that carburetor tuned very much on point, but I think it idles just a little too high. So I will definitely be fixing that, turn that idle down a little bit. Other than that, that thing is perfect. So, and then if you guys are wondering, uh. Three years with uh, this iSafe Tractors carburetor, no, two years with this iSafe Tractors carburetor on this engine, and it is absolutely flawless. Here, let me show you. Let me get my drink off the hood. Let me show you. Here. Runs mint. So yeah, I will uh, go ahead and, before we cut the video off here, I will go ahead and include some clips. I will go ahead and include one more clip from when we were working on the Roper and the Cub Cadet. So I will insert that right here. Introducing you guys to Triple D, Triple D2 real quick, but I'm freaking to make a quick little update video here at the, uh, the uh, compound here. I did some work today. I figured I'd just go over it here real quick. Um, this might get included in the uh, up other update video I did. So I have my Cub Cadet and my uh, Roper, my Ratty Roper over here. And in today, and uh, what we did today is we did, the Roper finally got a new electronic ignition coil and this thing finally, finally, finally is fixed. And then the Cub got some new parts too. We converted it to take the rubber style, a rubber fuel line like it should be. Fresh fuel filter. Got a new fuel shut off down here. It's a little stiff, but hey, it works. Brand new iSafe Tractors carburetor, and this thing is also running fucking mint. Oh, and I also did points of condenser and a plug and plug wire. So this thing is ready to go. This thing is ready to go. Um, this is actually... I also wanted to show you this off here. This is my niece's tractor. This is a Massey Harris Pony that's in very, very exceptional shape. Runs pretty good. Needs a carb clean, but it does run pretty good. And I got the old 9N over here. There's the Holy Grail. If anyone was, anyone who's asking about this, yes, it's still here. Just got to get it out for the spring and the summer, and we're going to drive it this year. And then this truck's going away. And then I also wanted to show off... We have pretty much a first-gen Gator, and it's 
got a newer style Briggs engine on it. It's a nice little uh, thing to just kind of cruise around on at shows and shit. So, but yeah, that'll uh, conclude this portion of the video. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. And that is where I will leave you guys. So I hope to have more videos out here soon with uh, hopefully more stuff getting fixed. So until then, thank you guys for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day.